Hello, I'm David Simon. Welcome to the first episode of the real educational series. The other thing was just an intro. Now, there's lots of things uh, that can be used as the first segment to talk about, but probably we really need to get back to the basics of how everything works, and then that'll make it a lot easier to understand things as we go along. You'll refer back to these segments uh, lots of times, I think. So, air movement. It's probably, you know, the key to everything. You wouldn't be alive if there wasn't for the movement of air. You know, every time you breathe, air has to move into your lungs. So it's far beyond making your motorcycle work. It's keeping you alive. Um, there's really two fundamental things that you need to know about air movement. And one of them is air as a rule has a certain amount of pressure. It has a base pressure of 14.7 PSI. Now that's kind of the standard, um, at least for America especially, because it's in pounds per square inch. And that's taken at sea level, and that's taken at 60 degrees. So that means that the elevation of sea level, and when the air is 60 degrees, every little square inch of air has approximately 14.7 pounds in it, just pushing on all, all walls, all the walls, just, just trying to get up, just pushing against stuff. So. Let's say one little square of air here, 14.7 PSI. So this wall has, it's got pressure pushing out, this one, this one, this one. So, you know, your whole atmosphere is made up of these little, these little squares of air, these little units of air, all with this 14.7 PSI. Now, when you change things like elevation, of course, the, um, the pressure gets less, so that explains why um, you know, your motorcycle runs a little bit, a little bit slower at the higher, higher elevations because the PSI is less, the amount of air that's rushing into your engine is, is less, but we'll get to that. Uh, the other thing that you really need to know about airflow is it has this characteristic where it always has to even out. It, it just the higher pressure air, if it senses a lower pressure somewhere, it can't handle it. Let's say a vacuum or an absence of air, air, absence of air pressure, it can't stand the fact that air is not equal everywhere. So it does anything it can to rush to that lower pressure to equal things out everywhere. And that actually makes so many things work that everything is based off of that. I mean, that's why you're alive. When you take a breath, your lungs expand. When your lungs expand, that creates a, an absence of air pressure or a vacuum, and the and the outside air pressure not being able to stand the fact that there's this lower air pressure in your lungs does anything it can to rush through your windpipe and fill up your lungs. And now your lungs are full of air, and you can be alive for a few more seconds to do it all over again. So, you know that's the same thing. It makes an airplane fly. Um, it makes all our weather system. It makes your engine run. When the piston goes down, creates a vacuum on top of the piston or an absence of air pressure, and you know when the throttle opens and it has a, a capability that the outside air now is capable of going in and filling that lower air pressure, it has to do it. So that's what makes that your your motor run. Now, if we get into actually, just you could stop that about right there. <laughs> 